Hey guys, what's up? Shin055, I figured it out. Um, this puzzle's terrible because, where, where am I? Am I on the bottom? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shin055, this is Epic Mickey. Um, uh, how do I look? Okay, we're on the bottom. Uh, basically, what they don't tell you is you can just spin like this. You don't need to like go through them. So, I'm just gonna, like, and, and there's a whole bunch of, like, secrets here. Like, you, we can rescue a guy, we can, like, do other things. I'm not doing any of that. Now one more. We want the TNT. Um, I'm not doing any of that, because I hate this puzzle so much. This is so ridiculously stupid on how hard this is. It's retarded. Like, this, this might be the worst puzzle I've ever played in my entire life. Was this supposed to be the bottom? What, what, are, what, are, what are our other options? I might have to change the, the bottom. Yeah, no, never mind. I have to change the bottom one. Like, this puzzle room is, is ridiculously stupid. Like... For them to want kids to figure this out is beyond me. Like, it, it is completely beyond me. Like... It's literally like, how, how did you expect small children to figure this out? And like, why is there a death floor here? Like, yeah, I'll take you. Like, I almost died. I almost got a game over because I accidentally tapped the Z button. Like, why is there a death... Why does the floor thin out completely? Like, why? Again, who thought this was a good idea? Restored one of the paintings. One more spin. Yeah, no, we are just doing, like, the normal thing here, and we are getting the hell out. This room actually made me upset. The gear's in the middle of the room again. The middle? I almost died. Oh, son of a bitch. You bastard! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Come on guys, come get me. You guys just not walk on, on the floor here? I'm, I'm not even gonna fight him, let's just go. Yeah, no, I am so, like, F that room. That room, that... That literally made me upset. 
on how shittily designed that was. And like, that wasn't me. That wasn't on me. Like, I, it wasn't me just being dumb. Like, it wasn't me just being like, oh man, I'm just not getting the, the, the point of this puzzle. This was just awful. Like, hands down, it was awful. I'll burn myself for the... There we go. <laughs> I'll burn myself for the thing. I don't care. Like, hands down, that was... Literally awful. Like, I don't think I've ever played a worse puzzle in a game. That is on par with that one horror game. That it's like, you need to like, wet a blanket at one part of the game to, uh... And then put it in a freezer so a separate character can grab the frozen blanket and like, use it to, uh... solve a puzzle. I forgot what game it is, but like... Oh no. Am I just dead? Oh, it was like a nightmare. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna go in the doghouse. There we go. That actually made me upset. Because if I was a kid playing this game, if I was like little like 10 year old me or however old I was when this game came out and like I didn't have like YouTube, I would have never figured that out. Like, and not because like I'm just dumb. It, like literally the game did not tell you you can spin the like paintings on the outside. And is this Simba? This looks like Simba. I actually know that because I, I, the comment section of the video I watched to help solve the puzzle that I just did, um, someone mentioned like that's Simba. It's just like, oh, that's, that's really cool. Oh, I end up dead. I literally got crushed to death. That was always a horrible fate. Like, a lot of video games do that. It's just like, oh my god. It's just so horrible. Can, can you imagine getting crushed to death? As much as I. Like, seriously, can you imagine getting, like, crushed to death? Like, that, that sounds awful. Like, okay, like, maybe it's not that bad, because, like, I can imagine that'd be, like, super quick. But, like, I remember, like, one of the Saw movies. It was, like, one of, like, the super later ones where, like, the guy throws, like, like, the jigsaw guy into, like, this capsule thing. And, like... Oh. Hello there. Must be stopped. This haunting is out of control. Oh, is this, um... The Haunted Mansion, that movie. I never really, like, I've only seen, like, I think the Eddie Murphy version of it. I know it's just a ride. Same thing with, like, Pirates of the Caribbean. But, like, I actually like Pirates of the Caribbean. But apparently people don't like Pirates of the Caribbean anymore. Like, apparently, like, they're just awful movies that no one likes. I don't know when this happened. Because last time I checked, everybody loved those movies. But, like, just recently, and, like, I found out, because, like, I was hearing people, like, talk about, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 and, like, Pirates of the Caribbean level, and everyone's saying, like, all the, the Pirates of the Caribbean games, like, oh, they're, they're all awful. Or the movies? Just, like, there's only, like, one good one. And just, like, I thought, like, people... I thought people really liked them. I really liked them. I liked all of them. I didn't like the last one all that much. The one with, like, the Spanish guy, and they have, like, the super young Jack Sparrow. 
the super young Jack Sparrow part was was actually really freaking cool. Um, it, it's honestly like worth watching the movie just for that part. But I liked all the other like parts of the character. I even like the what was it the fourth one, the one that didn't have uh, Orlando Bloom in it, and like that other girl. I even like that one. I don't know. I I, I just like the pirate movies. In fact, I kind of want to watch them again. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just like them. I like how they're like based off of uh... Oh, well, that's one way to do it. And I'm dead. I like how they're based off of... Oh, I gotta do everything again. Um... Can I break this? There we go. It makes me like kind of think of a uh, ukulele collecting those flapping book pages. I haven't played ukulele yet. I own it. There we go. Stop that. Doing its thing. Um. There we go. Try to get the other one too. Hopefully, skip that cutscene. Oof. Oh, oh god, you just make that. That was like uncomfortable. Like how like just you made that. Doesn't look like any secrets. And I know how to get um that pagey before anyone asks. Why does it always, like, knock you around? Like, why why do that? There we go. Oh, I, I, I tried to thin it to get it back, but, like, it wasn't fast enough. Ooh, this looks dangerous. And we're at, like, 11 minutes. So, okay, anyway, guys, I'll end the video here. Next video, we'll try to get across this without dying. But, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, and welcome to the pre-recorded end slate. Um, it's basically just a pre-recorded message at the end of my videos telling you to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff really helps me out. Um, you just watched an episode of Epic Mickey. Hopefully it was a good one. Probably not, though. I don't know. Hopefully it was. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this is just the, the end slate where I just tell you to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Guardian Saiyan. Um, basically, uh, Guardian Saiyan is a person on YouTube that helps me out with all my um, channel art. He does um, my outros, um, thumbnails, uh, channel banner, icons, all that stuff. So just want to give him a shout out. A link to his Patreon is in the description below, and you can check him out on YouTube. It's just Guardian Saiyan. Um, does amazing work, and I always want to shout him out at the end of my videos because he's such a huge help to my channel. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed Epic Mickey, and I will see you guys for the next video. Later!